Hey guys, Dancy2, back for more Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Last time, we beat up Volkner and got the Dahlia Summit and a whole bunch of equipment. Uh, let me just make sure. Yes, I do have everything. Okay, good. I forgot my boat is down here. Wait, what am I doing? I can teleport now! Driving places is for pussies! So, we're gonna be headed up to Izumo, because we're heading off to Treasure Island today! To my boat. Now, quite obviously, Treasure Island is the only island in the Eastern Sea we haven't been to. This one up here. Let's go all the way up to the top and around the side. Now we actually could have come here a lot earlier. There's a point in here where that we can go up into until we can go up. Bleh, we can go through Treasure Island. There's, like, two cutoff points in Treasure Island. The first one, you cannot progress unless you have Grind. And the second one, you cannot progress until you get Isaac's Party and get Lift. Uh, so I just choose not to come here until I can get both of those things and just knock it all out in one go. Because unless I have those two things, it's just like, why would I come here multiple times? I'm just gonna come here once, get everything I need and then leave, quite obviously. So as such, this dungeon is actually kind of long, but it's not too long. Treasure Isle. Now throughout this entire first bit, most of the chests will be empty, because this is the place that Piers, not, not Piers, uh, Briggs and his men came to to get the treasure they found. That's why all the statues are pushed out of the way, that's why everything has been moved. And why nothing in here stands a chance against us. Oh wait, that's because I'm completely overpowered. Instant kill. Ah, but they did leave some stuff behind, I see. Very small amount of coins and shit, but whatever. Empty. This one is empty. Now here's the trap that they were talking about earlier that they triggered. Press the button, and a whole bunch of stone spires pop up. What you actually want to do is this is the point where you need grind at, quite obviously. Get down! How the hell do I- Oh, I think I got it. Uh... Or I don't got it. I don't got it one fucking bit. Actually, let's raise that back up so that's up. Hopefully, when we come back through here, hopefully, we'll come back through here and then I can pick it up then. God damn it, actual puzzles. My only weakness. Ooh, slightly stronger enemies. They will still fall to Megado. Or Megiddo, or whatever the fuck you want to pronounce it. Okay, that's not going anywhere. There. Now 
grind you down. And then push you back. Simple, easy, you know the drill. Okay, this is gonna be a pick the right path. I can see it now. Question is, which one is it? Well, I think I found it. Well, not really, because the right path is the correct path. And you can probably hear the birds outside my window, but it's too goddamn hot for me to not have it open. I, for, I refuse to keep it closed anymore. Worst part is it's only like 9 o'clock in the morning. It's fucking hot here. We, we've completely killed spring and winter, I, I, I have decided. I mean spring and fall. Spring and fall are gone, they, they don't exist anymore. It's just summer and winter. And maybe like a week of spring and fall. Hmm. That's good for her. Oh, she has it already, huh? But yeah, that the uh, spirit armlet is actually pretty good, so... so anyone can use it? No. Hmm. Well, let me check something. You have cure poison, which leads me to believe... And you also have restore, yes, okay. The spirit armlet can restore. But I think, I'm not sure, spirit armlet, for some reason it makes me think that it might be like, um, salt, where it can restore stuff that it wouldn't normally, the restore and electro spells wouldn't normally be able to. But I'm not sure. It's mainly just due to how late game it is, it might be able to do that. Guido, crush with the sun. Legend! If it shoots three swords, it does triple damage. If it shoots only one, it does normal damage. That's how Legend works. Move you. And let's go get us some goodies. Ooh, Stardust. I have no idea what I'm going to make that into. Rusty Axe, pretty much useless. self Ever. Ooh. Some energy crystal. And a cookie. Get all kinds of good shit today. Felix can have the cookie because he hasn't gotten a lot of things from. He hasn't gotten a lot for a while, so he can have that. I'll throw him a pity cookie. Hi, Mimic. Prepare to get crushed. You know, he doesn't have a lot of HP to begin with, and the Toe Gather icon is not doing any favors in that regard. And there's the first stone we need to lift. Isaac, bitch, do your thing. Once again, we can't just move this by ourselves because, you know, we're addicts. We can't do that, you crazy. Sea hedgehogs.
Yes, the Iris Robe. Iris Robe is... Raises luck, restores PP. It restores 12 PP per turn. This is the most of any uh, robe item. So, it is going to... Uh, Mia, because this is quite obviously her best robe in the game. Man, look at all the junk I have. I thought I got rid of some of this junk. Yeah, I kind of forgot to save between this part and the last one, so if I have anything that I shouldn't, or I'm missing some things, that's why, because I kind of fucked up a little bit. It shouldn't be that much of a difference, though. Oh boy. Yep, it's a recreation of this area, except I don't think he runs this time. Uh. Central Star. Okay, now then, what I'm gonna wanna do is zigzag, most likely. Wow, did Mia one-shot him? I would not be surprised. Actually, no. What am I talking about? I know how I can do this. Theoretically, I should be able to do it this way. Yeah! Cheating. Sort of. Not sure. Hi there. I don't really mind if he runs because it's actually not that far to go back. Megiddo! Boom. And down and out. Come to me! Whoa, look at those ropes. That's weird. <laughs> Ain't Gale. Gale is last enemy is a strong wind. It's ba it's a lot like the whirl. Um, it, it's a standard damaging, and it's a lot like whirl in that it's got this really weird data value, so that it completely fucks up RNG. I.e., don't use it for RNG. It has a chance of instant killing, just like whirl does. Um, aside from that, nothing really you know, unique or substantial about it. Just don't use it for RNG, basically. And here we have the Firebrand! As I went over before, uh, you could... There's some interesting things about the Firebrand. In that, if you transfer over to Masamune that is partially coated into Golden Sun 1, it will turn into a Firebrand. Uh, Firebrand is a pure... is a elemental damaging weapon, so it will convert all of your attack power to Mars when you use it. No, do not equip it with him. So obviously it is going to Garrett, and it's probably going to be his ultimate weapon, since I don't have access to, to Leventine, since, you know, I refuse to use one of my Mithril Silvers for that. Even if I get an extra Mithril Silver, I know exactly where it's going. Oh shit! <laughs> I just realized how much I fucked that up. All right, out and in. Ooh, ocean dragons. I believe they dropped something good. I don't remember what, though. Legend! Oh, come on, Piers. Get in the game. I think that was a bad idea. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Alright, I got the puzzle now, I think. I hope. I pray. Oh, 
please let me have this. jump across over there. And now we are set and clear for the end goal, I think. Good, now I have a way back up in case I fall. path, maybe? I think I chose wisely. Let me go back and see if there's anything along the other path. I doubt it. But it is always worth trying to check. Nope, nothing. Alright. Just one last you chose poorly, haha, -ha, for Treasure Island. Ooh, okay. So next time, we will take on the boss of this area, which is right up there, and I'm too afraid to go forward because this is going to be a long boss, so see you guys then.